Hey, this is Prolux and Flip Mode. And we're out here at the AMC Cantera to take a look at what people have to say about the movies they just saw today. All right, so let's check it out. Flip Mode here on location at AMC 30 Cantera in Warrenville, Illinois. And I'm here with Scott. Going to talk about Iron Man 2. He just uh, came out of the theater and saw it. All right, so just general impressions. What would you think? I thought it was well done. I, uh, I really like the first one, and I, uh, I love Robert Downey Jr., and I'm a big fan of movies. What movie are you guys here to see? Iron Man 2. Oh, yeah, the one to do the, yeah, what's his, what does he do? He's got the core. The core. The core power. He's hardcore. He's hardcore. <laughs> the villain was good. I thought Mickey Rourke, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah Mickey Rourke. He did a great job uh, being the villain. Um, I would have liked to see a little bit more at the end, um, you know, in a battle scene, but other than that, I thought it was a great movie overall. So. Um, do you have any expectations going into this film? I'm um, hoping it's going to be as awesome as the first one. I loved it. Like, it was amazing. So. so what was it about the first movie that made you like, oh, I can't wait to see the sequel? I don't know. Iron Man, for me, isn't a character I always identified with, like Superman or Batman, but something about Tony Stark is just really cool all the time. Do you have an arc reactor in your chest? No, I do not. Diane, what did you think of the movie? It was interesting. It was confusing in the beginning because I never saw Iron Man 1. Did they explain enough of the background in the beginning for you to catch up later? Yes. I guess. I don't know. The beginning was very confusing. I didn't know what was going on. Well, I mean, after the first one, I really liked the first one. And, I mean, with a, with a better villain, I think it, uh, I mean, I think it's going to be really, really good. So, Whiplash is better than Jebediah? Yeah. That old man, I mean, his suit was bad. But this suit's good. The whole thing was kind of unique. Odd. Hey, what movie did you guys just see? Iron Man 2. And what did you guys all think about it? It was awesome. <laughs> yes, it was. It was definitely awesome. Michael, what'd you think? Just general, general comments. I thought it was amazing, actually. I mean, it was uh, everything uh, a comic book fan would uh, ask for for Iron Man. So, what, did, what was it about uh, Tony Stark that you related to? I don't know. Maybe the rich suaveness, kind of get any girl he wants. It's like uh, it's a nice combination for a superhero. So it's got it's like that James Bond persona. Like you can walk into yeah, any room, like, own it. It's like a modern James Bond, you know, with a really cool suit. With a really cool suit, cool toys. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is almost like James. Bond. Completely big fan, especially of uh, War Machine. Really love the War Machine, how they did the whole costume and everything. Uh, book into a movie? Actually, I'd kind of like to see a War Machine movie. I just thought it was that good. It was that cool. It's cars how too. many times did we see the first one? Okay, okay. How many times did you see the first one? Four. In the movie theater? What movies did you guys see today? Iron Man. You saw Iron Man 2? Did you like it? What was your favorite part of the movie? I guess the very end. Uh, I would definitely say my favorite part was the Captain America shield. I don't know what to expect. To be honest, I don't have high expectations. I have low expectations for Rourke playing the bad guy, but we'll see what happens. I mean, there's been a lot of bad Russian villains lately, so, yeah. <laughs> well, which one were you thinking of? <laughs> I can't even start. No, I thought it was all around good. John Favreau should keep doing Iron Man. Tony has all these gadgets and toys. Um, he has, you know, the, the Audi, uh, was it the V10? Uh, super, yeah, whatever it is, but amazing car. Um, what of Tony's would you want to have? Just just one thing in the movie that you saw. They're like, God, I wish I had that. I think his little his little palm pilot that he could he could take information out of and could see things and the way he could move it around. Oh, you're talking about when he was in the trial and yeah. he like, started taking over yeah. the TV? That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm looking forward to the portable suit I saw in the commercials. The one that gets put out of the car and it gets strapped on. It looks pretty awesome, yeah. <laughs> I want to see the portable suitcase Iron Man suit because I want one. There's portable suitcases? Especially when he took out the red lasers, that was pretty. That was pretty sweet, and he spun them around. That was awesome. You know, I think it'd be cool, like if you're at work and you don't want to be there anymore, you just open up your suitcase and you put on the suit and you fly away. Would you see it again? No. <laughs> Once is enough. Would you like better, uh, Scarlett Johansson or um, Gwyneth Paltrow? Oh, Scarlett Johansson, definitely, definitely. She, uh, you know, really. Uh, Do you need a moment? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, now, did you um, take someone here to see it with yeah, you? Yeah, my girlfriend actually came. With so. Okay. Now, would you consider this like a first date movie or like a date movie where you'd want to take your girlfriend to? Or is it just like, hey, honey, I'm going to drag you to this and, you know, whatever. You enjoy it. That's great. Um, I think, I think yeah, it could definitely be a date movie. It depends on your girlfriend if she, you know. But, I mean, it, it balances action and plot well. So, I think, I think it, anyone could really enjoy it. Did you like it? Yeah? Okay, cool. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? Would you take a girlfriend? Is, would this be a good first date movie? Yeah, I would definitely take a girl to it. Um, I don't have a girlfriend, unfortunately, right now, but I would definitely take a girlfriend to it. Is your fiance like a big uh, superhero movie fan, or? Not really. She just comes because I because I ask her to. So does that mean you're gonna have to take her to like date night or uh, some other letters from Juliet? 
Yeah, well, I went. I, I mean, I went to a wedding uh, registry, so that, I mean that qualifies me for a free movie. Oh yeah, she definitely. <laughs> she definitely owes you to go see this movie. Would you guys uh, like to see a, a, a sequel, or this is it for you? Many more sequels. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like Iron Man seventy seven, maybe. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't been a fan of the novels yet, but uh, I, yeah, I don't know who would who would be up next. So. Okay, um, that, that that'd be a question to ask our uh, our fans on the site. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what bad guy they want to see in Iron Man three? Yeah. So if they make a uh, Iron Man three, uh, what bad guy do you think should be in that one? That's hard to say. I just want to see Samuel L. Jackson. You know, I don't know about as, as Nick Fury. Yeah, as Nick Fury in the third one. So I know he's in this one too, but more of him is always a good thing. Yeah. Well, I think you're going to be happy because he does have a bigger role in this besides just being at the end of the credits. Right. Now, you do know to stay at the end, right? Uh, now I do. Yeah, thanks for telling me. And yes. now I take it you stayed to, to the end, to yes. the end credits, right? Because if not, you could probably run back. It's cool. Yeah. Well, what book do you want to see made into a movie? Who did you just see at the end of the movie that you were excited about? Uh, horn. The guy with the horns, Thor? And, and also the, the old school Batman outfits where you have to turn your whole torso. <laughs> hey Batman, what? Old school Batman had the best sound effects though, so the, that trumps everything. The bam! Yeah, you pow! Can't beat you can't beat clouds in your sound effects. Okay, so speaking of action, it sounds like you're a big action film. Did you see the Punisher movies? Like the yeah, last one? That I get? did. I did. And? I mean, it was good. I, I, I liked it. I, honestly. Honestly. Tell well, me. Tell I mean, me. We're supposed to be talking about Iron Man? Yeah, Iron Man. Oh, oh, Iron, Iron Man, core. So go Man, see it. Cool. Really good yeah, movie. Yeah. We're gonna see it. We're gonna like we it. We haven't seen it, but we were, we wanted to do this interview because we love Film Monkey. Uh, Iron Man Two was an excellent film, and everyone should go see it. All right, very cool. All right, thanks, Michael, for for joining us. I'll no get you back in there. You can see the end. Okay. <laughs> Flip mode over here on location at AMC 30 Cantera in Warrenville, Illinois, and I'm here with Mr. Plant to get his thoughts on Iron Man 2. Mr. Plant, what would you think of the movie? Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what we're getting all day today. What movie did you guys see? We saw Kick-Ass. We saw Kick-Ass. What did you guys think of it? I think it, it was, was a awesome. very gruesome movie. You thought it was gruesome? Why was that? Because there was like so much blood, blood and gore, violence. What did you think? I think it was pretty funny. I got the comic the other day, and um, I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't that bloody. Oh, what was your favorite part of the movie? Um, when Hit Girl destroyed, uh, like killed all the people when um, when they met Kick Ass. Did you read Kick Ass? Yeah. Did you like it better? Did you like the movie better? Yeah. Like yeah, the movie, the movie was better. And I'm here with Moniker, trying to get people to get in front of the camera and get their thoughts on the movies they just saw, and unfortunately. We were standing in front of the Nightmare on Elm Street movie, which came out. Walked into the theater to see if anyone would uh, was there watching it. No one at all. Is it because it's a Saturday morning, or is it because the movie sucks? Sucks. You heard it here first. I mean, I like science fiction. What's your uh, favorite science fiction movie that you like to go see? I loved Avatar. I've seen all the Star Wars movies. You name them, I've probably seen them. We've got a lot of Star Wars buffs here. What's your uh, favorite Star Wars character? Dr. Spock. Who doesn't love Dr. Spock? Phil <laughs> Monkey. It's great. 